Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be walking through the way the Rodecaster Pro multi-track recording feature works over USB, a feature that we introduced into the Rodecaster Pro with firmware version 1.1.0. Multi-channel recording mode means that the Rodecaster Pro does not just output the stereo mix of your podcast over USB, but it also individually outputs the separate tracks, enabling you to do an offline mix after finishing your recording. To activate multi-channel recording mode, simply navigate to the advanced menu. To access the advanced settings, just tap on the settings wheel, then on hardware, then advanced, and from here you can see I have the option to turn on multi-channel recording over USB. Once I tap on that setting, it'll remind me to disconnect and reconnect the USB cable for the setting to take effect, and that's just a way that we can guarantee that the multi-channel interface will show up in your computer. I just tap on OK, and then I can go back to my home screen. Once activated, an additional Rodecaster Pro USB output device will appear on your computer in addition to the regular stereo USB output. This is how it looks in the sound settings on a Mac. You can see the two separate USB devices for the Rodecaster Pro. In the sound settings for a Windows PC, it looks very similar. This additional USB device has 14 different sources available. The first two tracks are the full podcast stereo mix left and right. Now there's something important to realize here. If you just have multi-track mode activated and everything else set as normal on the Rodecaster Pro, this means that the same stereo output will be available on both of the USB devices, the main stereo output device, and also on the first two tracks of the multi-track USB output. However, if you activate the USB mix minus mode, which is available on the same setting screen, then the main stereo USB output device will work as a mix minus for the USB channel, enabling you to connect to a communications app on the USB input. This means that if you want to record the stereo mix to your computer, as well as using the USB input for a phone call or similar, you'll need to activate the multi-track mode. Make sure you allocate the main USB device to your communications app and source one and two of the multi-track USB device to the left and right channel of your recording software. The other tracks appear as sources three to 14 in the multi-channel USB device. Each source represents the tracks on the Rodecaster Pro going from left to right across the console. So starting with mic one and going across through mics two, three, and four, then the USB input TRRS phone connector, Bluetooth input, and finally the sound pads. The mic channels are single mono tracks and all of the other tracks are stereo. First the left and then the right channel for each of those. So tracks 13 and 14 are the left and right channels of the sound pads, for example. There's a full listing of the track assignments in the description below this video to help you out. Allocating USB devices and sources to different tracks in your audio software varies between different platforms and software, but in general, you'll need to select the USB device in the preferences for that software and then select the individual source on a per track basis. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get the audio device or your track allocation set up correctly. Now remember, multi-channel recording mode is totally optional because the Rodecaster Pro records a fully mixed stereo file by default. But if you are having a little bit of trouble, please let us know in the comments below and we'll try to help out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of the latest product news from Rode. Thanks very much and happy podcasting.